earlier, we looked at percent increase. Maybe we're raising the price of something. But sometimes we're also interested in the percent that something has decreased in comparison to its original value. The process for this is going to be very similar to percent of increase, but now our change between the two numbers will be negative because we're decreasing the value. So to find our amount of decrease, we're going to take, again, that new number minus the old number. So here we have the price of a sweater decreasing from $29.99 to $24.49. And it wants us to find that percent decrease. So it makes sense that our first step is to actually find the decrease. I'm going to take my new number, now it's $24.99, in comparison with my old number of $29.99. Let's add some units. Those are dollars. So for this sweater, our decrease is going to end up being negative 5.50 or negative, let's say, $5.50. So again, same process, new number minus old number, but now we're just gonna end up with a negative number because that negative represents that we're decreasing the value. So then to find our percent decrease, we want to take the decrease that we just found and divide it by our original number. And that's how much, what percent have we decreased from $29.99 to $24.99. So we'll take our negative $5.50, divide it by $29.99. Now we're taking the amount of decrease that we have and dividing it by our original amount that we started with. So this is going to give us 0 0.18. Again, that's not necessarily in terms of percent like we want it to. And so we're going to have to convert it by multiplying by 100, since percents are out of 100. So this would give us 18% decrease. So same process, we're just now going to have a decrease instead of an increase. Okay, and that negative sign symbolizes that we're decreasing instead of increasing. But now we know what percent has, we have decreased from $29.99 to $24.49.